Hey guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games. Today I'm giving you the yellow reveals. Um, I already had a look over all the new yellow cards. I really love all the new cards. A few of them are kind of like a bit iffy. Um, I'll get to the Crowana in another video and I'll talk about what I feel about Crowana. It won't be in this video, so if you don't want to watch, like, if you don't want to watch the reveals, just skip right to that next video. So yes. Our first yellow, Bardock Leader. Um, choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. Choose up to one of your opponent's rested uh, mode battle cards with an energy cost three or less and KO it. Um, this side is a little bit underwhelming, but if it's a good leader, seeing as it's a leader that can un like awaken by itself. But then when you awaken it on this side, it can KO any battle card. So this is actually kind of strong. Um, the only thing is that you do have to take a life for it, so, um, he does have the Goku's Lineage, um, tag, which is pretty good, but at the same time, I'm not sure how I feel about the whole Goku's Lineage thing, um, but he's a good leader because he draws when he awakens as well, so, um, I'll have to give this guy a three star, um, and you can play like Shigesh with him as well. Um, next leader is Sun Goku, um, I think this one's a UI Goku, is it? No, no, this is just the, the legacy barrier. Um, when this card attacks a leader, you can choose up to one Goku lineage card from your hand, place in the drop area. If you do so, draw, draw two cards. Um, then choose two of your energy and then switch it over. And then this side's pretty much when this card attacks, you can choose up to one of your Goku lineages in your battle area, give it 5k for the duration of turn. Um, I don't like this leader. It's really lackluster. It's actually really boring on this side. Um, like, I get the idea of recycling is pretty good, but if you really want to play a good recycling leader, the Universe 7, um, what's it called? Universe 7, uh, Freezer is just a better leader than this altogether. Um, I don't like this leader. I'll give him a two star and he can have a three star. Gene, heart to the support. When you attack or combo with this card, um, if your leader is yellow, place top card, three cards of your deck in the drop area. Um, this is like that other Popo card. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I gave this thing a three star because it has potential. I don't like them. Um, even with more look of it right now, I still don't like them. So yeah, I'll just leave it at a three star just because it is potential, but I can see it just being a one star altogether. Abrupt Breakthrough Sun Goku. So um, the, they've added this new ability called Swap, which is pretty much like tagging things out from your field. Um, so yeah, we'll go straight into it. So it's a five cost, tw uh, 2700, uh, 27,000, which is a little bit weird. Um, Goku lineage, lineage, and it has universe seven tag as well, which is actually pretty neat. Um, uh, it looks like it's meant to be like a UI Goku as well. So swap, um, it has to be a, a card with eight or less. Um, and it's for four yellow. So Goku lineage, uh, with an energy cost. Oh, sorry. With an energy cost of 8, play the specific card from your hand or return this card to your hand. Um, barrier, activate, or uh, auto, activate this card when one of your Goku lineage with an energy cost 5 or more is removed from the battle area. You may play uh, by your opponent's skill. If you have no cards in your battle area, you may play You may play this card from your hand. I actually kind of really like this card. Um, pretty much, it's just a free 5 drop, really and 27 with barrier it's a pretty neat card um i'll give it a four star it's pretty strong in bottom all, destiny uh, super saiyan sun goku um it's a swap for four barrier uh, i i don't know how all these things are going to work together but um it does have barrier so it is going to stick on the field so i'll give it a three star dependable dist uh, dynasty sun goku um just to swap for two not that strong. Um, I'd probably just be playing this one over this one anyways. So maybe just a two star for this one. Unbroken Dynasty Sun Goku. Swap for one. Uh, swap for one for two. Choose our... Uh, yeah, that's it. That, there's actually nothing to it. Um, I'll rate all these cards two star like that. Deadly Golden uh, Great Ape Sun Goku. Um, so it's swap for five Goku's lineage with an energy cost. Um, permanent, you may not play this card from any area unless your leader is Son Goku GT. I'm pretty sure this leader was Son Goku GT, wasn't he? Or is that just the only the other card? 
No, no. It, it, so you can't play it with this leader. You have to play it with the other leader, which is in this um in the starter deck. But this card by itself is pretty strong just to run the other leader. When you play this card, choose up to one of your Goku lineage with an energy cost five or less, other than Deadly Grade Eight from your deck and add to your hand. So it's like recycles. It's a really easy thing to get out on the field. So I'll give this card five star. I reckon this thing will see a lot of play. The fact that it's so cheap to bring out two for like late game is really strong. Five star. Was it a rare? No, it's just common. Oh, how to do that? Dynasty Deferred Sun Goku. Swap for three barrier at the end of your turn. Switch this card to active mode. I don't know how I feel about these cards. Um, I guess, you know, it can just be like the piping things down and all that and doesn't die. Um, I really wouldn't be swinging leader with this because it's just um like maybe for late game, maybe for late game. Like comboing this card and like this card together is actually pretty strong. I'll give this card a three star. Kakra, one drop, bad. Just one star. Discovered Dynasty Sun Gohan. A swap for five Goku lineage. Barrier, when you play this card, uh, when you play this card with swap, draw two cards. Um, this is your recycler for the deck. I still don't know how I feel about this whole swap engine, so I'll give this card a three star. Interpreted Dynasty Sun Goku. Swap for, th uh, swap for three for two. Barrier, one star. It's a bad card. Project Call Dynasty Sun Goten. Um, swap for four for two. Uh, two yellow. When you combo with this card, if your leader, it, um, if if one of your yellow battle cards is being attacked, this card gains 10k combo for the duration of the turn. So this is a 15k combo card. I really love this card. It's very strong. Um, on top of like you know, if you play the old red 10k combo, you can fill your deck out with like, um, what's it called? Fill your deck out with like potentially 12 super combos, in my opinion. Um, and I really love this card, 5 star. Plucking Dynasty Pan. Um, this is a new 10k combo. It's just if you're uh, for a less life, you can draw one card. Um, this one's kind of okay. Um, the fact that it's like a saying means you can like search it out. And I know that... Um, What's it called? Um, like Shigesh, you could search that out anyways, but this is kind of another target. It's a really good one seeing as that like Shigesh just did get its big nerf. So um, yeah, five star, um, but very good designs, giving it um, like the, the um, Goku lineage as well. So yeah, five star. All tanker combos get him. Fledging Talent Pan, uh, one mana, 5k on the field. Uh, once per turn, choose up to one card from your hand, place in the drop area, and draw one card. Um, mine, like, th one of our editors actually really likes this card. Um, like, it, it's a, a good way to recycle and everything. Um, I don't mind it too much. It's a little bit iffy for me. Um, maybe we've had barrier. I know if it had barrier, be a little bit too broken. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I don't... It's good. But is it worth playing the one mana for early game? I'm not sure. So I think this card is a four star. Um, I personally would rate it as a three star though. So I'll give it a four star. Ox King, Dad of the Heart, uh, Dad at Heart, permanent or other yellow battle cards in your battle area with an energy cost three or less gain barrier. This card is really strong. Um, the fact that it's like just yellow battle cards means that you can play it like with, um, what's it called? like Ginyu Spam or something like that. It's such a really strong card. The fact that it's only a one mana, um, five star straight off the bat, I feel like this is going to be something that's going to define a meta. Dynasty Solace Chi Chi. When you play this card, look at the top three. Now, this is pretty much your Gawasu, so Gawasu is just get a straight five anyways. Um, or maybe a four. It doesn't have anything to really be searched except for like Goku Lineage. Um, but yeah, it's a good card. Caring Mother Videl, activate main, switch this card to rest mode, draw one card, and choose up to one of your battle cards. It gains 5k for the duration of the turn. Um, it's a two drop. That means it's kind of bad. Um, I know it can't really be, it like, it, it, it switches to rest mode. You're paying it for two, but the ups are you draw one card and you gain 5k. So, like, let's say turn two, you drop this. 
and it doesn't die and then you tap it and then draw uh to me that's not actually that great um it's something that gave 5k power but it's not strong enough in this like in today's meta we don't know how it's going to turn out um but yeah i'll i'll give this card a two star i don't like it if it was a one star it'd be amazing but it's a two like two drop all right on to the second page adoptive adoptive father son gohan um a swap for two so it doesn't cost anything um and just a blocker so uh, it's okay like if you don't want one of your things to die you can add it back to your hand and put a blocker on the field it won't be putting in every single deck i don't believe um in my opinion so yeah i'll give this card a five star just because it's a free like oh no i'll give it a four star it's not gonna be in every deck so yeah it's all right now we've got all the Bulma cards. So Multitech Bulma, Evolve for one yellow and one non-yellow with an energy cost three or more, which is a bit off. Um, at the end of the turn when you play this card, uh, place up to two cards from the top of your deck into the drop area and then choose up to one of your energy and switch to active mode and draw one card. Um, it's okay. It's a four drop. It's an Evolve for two. Um, it, it recycles. It helps you activate, you know, your um, like tap mana. Very strong card, five star. Explorer Bulma. When you play this card, choose up to two cards from the top of your deck in your drop area. Then choose up to two of your energy and switch them to active mode and draw one card. So basically, you're playing paying this for one, and then you can instantly evolve it and then do even more. These cards together comboed are very strong. Um, the thing is, it's not going to impact the board though. They don't have any like board removal. They're still very strong, in my opinion five star success for hope choose up to one goku lineage with an energy cost five or less and swap from your deck and add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck so this is like your rotor of the deck rotor being you know being able to search anything out pretty strong card um like you're not paying anything for it it's just f like a free five cost to add to your hand five star straight off the bat 10 times Kamehameha, very strong card. Um, activate battle. So this is after you've attacked. Um, if your leader is Goku Lineage with Son Goku in its character name, it gains 15k power for the, for, um, and double strike. Um, this is really strong. I really like how they're adding all these new cards that are specific to leaders. Um, like... I know it's, I think there's like two cards that, two leaders that are going to be able to abuse this, but it's 15k and double strike for one mana. That's pretty strong. Um, and then on top of that with like all the new 10k combos, it's a very strong card, five star. And I think this is our last card, instant, transmu uh, inst instant transmission. Um, uh, counter attack, negate the attack. If your leader card is a Goku lineage with... Um, when you activate this card's counter, you may choose up to one card in your life and it's in hand if you do so. Um, activate this counter without paying any energy cost. Um, I don't mind these kind of cards coming out. Um, like, it, they don't feel too strong. It's I feel like it's going to help you keep things on the board. That's the only reason why you'd be using them. Maybe blocking criticals, but it, like, I don't know. Um, I'll give it a... I'll give it a, a, a what what did I give the other one? I think I gave it a three star. I'll give it a three star. Um, yeah, that's as far as that goes for that. Um, and now we'll go into the starter deck, wherever it is. The Crimson Saiyan. So we've got our new Golden Great Ape, Son Goku. When this card attacks a leader, draw one card. When you're at four or less life, you may choose up to two of your energy switch to active mode. Kind of strong. That's just a normal thing. I don't really like it too much. But when your life is less than or equal to your opponent's life, this card gains 5k power and critical. So this is like a 20k critical. That's really strong. Um, I really like the card art on this too, not to mention. Um, this is the uh, Goku GT that you can play and there's a Goku lineage as well. Um, I don't know how quick you will be able to uh, like help you awaken um, like compared to your opponent, maybe like being able to like crit yourself down to like turn two would be really not, or not crit yourself down, but like get your life down to like turn two and then be able to like swing everything with critical and all that. But I'm not sure if that's actually going to be too beneficial. 
um, in my opinion, I'm not sure. Um, it's very like it's a leader. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to like pick him up straight away, but um, I'll leave him as a four star because he has does looks like he does have a lot of potential. Power charge Bardock. When this card attacks, he may draw a, a one card, and if you did not, this card gains double strike. So this is like your new um, Gohan promo, except just better because the thing is, he's just a two drop. Um, I really like these new cards. They're very neat. Um, I'll have to give this five star. It's a very strong card. Super Saiyan Blue, Sun Goku, the Apex. Um, a swap for, swap for eight. Um, activate main, choose up to one of your life and add it to your hands, switch this card to active mode. And if you do, um, and if you have two or less life, this card gains triple strike. This is a decent end game. Um, like, but like, the fact that, you know, because you're playing, like, mono, or you could be just playing mono yellow, you can, um, like, bad ring their attack, and this card can just steal games from people. Very strong card. Um, I'll leave it four star. I don't think it's going to be meta defining, though. Reborn Might Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku. Um, it's a swap eight. It's a five cost. Activate main. Choose up to one card of your life and add it to your hand. Switch this card to active mode, and if you do have... Uh, two or less life this card gains triple strike so it's the same thing as this other one but this one like you can combo them out and then go into each other it's pretty strong um so yeah i'll have to give this card a four star just like i gave the other one ultimate potential super saiyan 2 sun gohan swap for two uh cost uh swap four cost two when you play this card choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards within rest mode and ko it um, it's kind of strong. I don't know really how I feel about it. Um, it's a, just a three cost, but it's a two yellow. It's all right. Um, I'll give it a three star just cause it's able to just deal with the board. Um, so yeah, that's it for the video guys. It's kind of like a very base set. I'm not really sure how I felt about this set here. Like, like all these new yellow cards. Um, it's really hard to react on something that you're not sure how that's going to impact the meta. Um, all these swap cards feel really confusing. Um, hopefully that, you know, this isn't the only leader or the, like, the only color that gets this swap ability, like, for this set. But, yeah. Um, as far as that goes, that's it for the video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.